Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the buyer contract. So for this contract we need two medium planks. This is in Harvest Corp and this is at the airport. And this trailer, it's kind of funny because I actually left it here when I completed the mission to get this open. I'm just like, oh screw it, I'm gonna drop the trailer and I'll come back and get it at some point. And turns out that some point is right now. I need a trailer and... Um, yeah, I just grabbed this one. So we also need two metal beams. And the funny thing is, with that, is that I'm gonna take the truck that brought this here that the collab so and i'm gonna take another saddle high trailer which we uh i don't think i'm supposed to be able to use it because it's one that you have to bring to that spot for a mission but it lets me attach to it and it lets me put cargo on it so i'm gonna use it that way i don't have to go back and get another trailer or a different truck so I'll show you guys what I mean when I switch to that truck. I will again show you the map when we switch. Yikes, that was close. I thought we might fall off. But if you guys haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Because that would help out the channel. Help us to get promoted a little bit more. Help the channel to grow. And... I, if you guys like this type of content, odds are you will like stuff I've made in the past and you will like what I'm going to make in the future. Alright. Yeah, we do have uh, the GMC MH9500 down there, which we had to pick up, uh, was it a cargo container we put into the cat quite a while back? And we actually have, you can kind of see it if I stop right here oh geez uh right oh god right here we have another uh boron truck sorry when i click the camera like to move it you have to click it and drag it to move it and then when you let go it's supposed to like not go with it but sometimes, apparently, it does, so... We're gonna try and turn a little bit to the right so that we don't tip. I think this is the weirdest looking house, or whatever you want to call it. There's like nothing around, and then there's a little two-story, like... I don't know, 15 by 15 house or something. I don't know, are those doors, or is that like electrical cabinets or something? It looks like it has like an electrical signal on there. I don't know, anyways. Uh, I've never really noticed this hill. I think this is only the second time I've drove on this road and the first time was on the way here. I just, I kind of drove all the way around the swamp. That's your garage right over there. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've gone up this road. I remember I broke my uh, Rizvani Hercules on this. Well, maybe I didn't break it, but uh, it had no suspension. Oh, gosh, this is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. Oh, wow. As soon as I realized that my the back of my trailer was going to miss that, I'm like, oh, this is going to just be terrible. But I think wooden planks are one of the lighter materials you can bring as well, so that's always helpful. But yeah, I broke... I either had the suspension already broken, or I broke it at that point when I was doing my exploring video in this area. I'm debating if I can just drive right up there. I bet I could, but I know it's not that far around, so I'm just going to keep going around. I think you could probably drive right up through and smash through the fence right there. But yeah, we'll, uh, I'll show you guys where we got this cargo from. And I will show you, I'll switch to the next truck, show you where we're at and where we're going. Because they both got to go to the same place, which is deliver to buyer. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I think so. And you can obviously see the trail of where I came through here last time. 
Nope, this one's got to go more to the side, though. There we go. Also, I've never used the Tatra Phoenix with the saddle high before, I don't think. Let's deliver these medium planks. I know for sure I've never used this crane just like this. Because when you use the crane, you can't uh, have the other stuff attached to it. The crane's in a weird spot. Alright, so this is the map of Harvest Corp. Here is the airport. This is where we picked up our cargo. We drove out. We drove up this road. And split off to the left here, down here, and cut through the trees somewhere in here. But yeah. And then we're using this collab right here. Which we're going to pick up that trailer that... You have to bring the Royal BM-17 in the trailer to this spot. And I'm just going to use that trailer because it lets me. So we're going to go out. I'm not sure... Yeah, I think we'll just go left here. And I... I'll probably cut through somewhere in here. Ooh, that's a bad spot, actually. Um, I didn't really think about this. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just going to follow the main road, and we'll just whip a U-turn somewhere in here. I, I, I probably will cut through right here, because that allows me to turn and then turn again and get back straight. Because if I cut in, cut in too far, I won't be able to get the trailer to straighten out quite as much. But here is the warehouse. This is the Royal BM-17 we have to bring here. And this is the trailer. So we need metal beams. We grab two. I reset it back today. I don't know if we'll have enough fuel. We'll find out. We're, we're running a fine-tuned gearbox in here. And I probably should have gone a lot wider right there. Oh well. Yeah, this is the Colob 74760. We do got one spare tire. And I've wanted to do this for a while. I think I'm just going to try and see what happens. I keep thinking this looks like a better path than going through that mud. And I've been not going through it. And yeah, this is definitely a pretty good path. There's no reason to go through that mud. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the, the metal beams are like kind of making some clinking noise from bouncing. I usually don't hear that. But yeah, we got to go somewhere to the right. We might even be able to turn off like right here somewhere. This could be a disaster of a turn. We'll find out. I don't believe it will be. But I'm going to try and make my way basically kind of like right above our truck right now. What is this? Oh, it's just a wet, like, weird looking rock. I don't know, maybe that doesn't look as weird to you guys, but that looked really weird to me. Okay, yeah, I think this is the road right where that puddle is. Oh yeah, actually, here's the bridge. I didn't even notice that. So we just completely dodged that tough part, I guess. Unknowingly. Well, I, sh I probably should have known, because we turned off really early. And now that I know where we are, fuel should not be an issue. It's literally just right there, so... This is another pretty easy contract, actually. It's kind of funny, because this one should have taken me a super long time to set up. Like, oh, I gotta go get a trailer, or I gotta bring two trucks. Well, basically all I did was bring one truck from the garage to the airport, and then I was ready. Because this truck and this trailer were already at the spot, and that trailer was already at the spot. So, it's, yeah, it's just kind of funny that normally this might have taken me, like, a half hour to either go to, uh... I guess there's probably a trailer somewhere on this map that I could have used. Like, not counting the ones that I bought, like just a random one. But I know for sure there's one on the bottom of Heartlands that you can grab. And I know um, the trailer store, there's one in Heartlands. And then there's one in the Institute, or not the Institute, uh, Crossroads that I could have gone to. 
but yeah, it's just kind of funny that they were all like ready and instead of having to drive all the way back to a trailer store or something, I basically had it all right there. It's kind of nice. This is the third time we're pulling in here for uh, delivery. I did move the, uh, the dairy. I think it's just off to the left somewhere. Oh, it's straight up in front of us, right above our truck right now. All right, let's get the beams delivered. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Dang, that looks cool. That is definitely an upgrade. All right, we got 49,490 for that in 3,900. And that is gonna be it for this video, guys. As always, stay tuned till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.